Hi everyone, my name is Monica Taylor, and I'm here today to share with you a card using one of the new stamp sets from the Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection. I'm also going to be using a couple of other stamp sets. One of them is the Etc. stamp set, and then an older one called Traveling Friends. Now where I live, there are a lot of thrift stores, and in thrift stores you can find a lot of great finds, especially vintage finds. And I found this old ledger book um, in one of the thrift stores for a dollar and I thought it would be great to add to my cards. So for my card today I'm going to be using it as part of my background along with some paper from the correspondence collection. So one of the designs in the correspondence collection is a page that has all sorts of different tickets and I thought that would complement um, the card that I'm creating where I'm going to be creating my own little tickets. So using my uh, ATG gun, I adhered the paper that had the tickets, and then I had also adhered the paper that I had cut out using one of my die cuts. Now I wanted my ledger to look a little bit older, so I did use some of my uh, vintage photo Distress Oxide to give it a more grungy look. And then once I had a nice application of the Distress Oxide, I did rip up the uh, ledger just a bit again to make it look old. Now I know it's not always easy to find old items for some of your uh, card making, but using some of your Distress Oxides or even just your Distress Ink, you can easily transform any type of paper into a vintage looking design. Even when I'm adhering it to my background, I don't take much care when I'm adding extra ink. I don't mind if the edges roll up a bit because it just adds to the vintage distress look. So once I was happy with the base of my card, I was ready to add some of my tickets. So to begin, I took another piece of paper from the correspondence collection and using my stamping platform, I stamped the big ticket from the Traveling uh, Friends collection. This stamp set is one of the older stamp sets and I've had it in my collection for a while. But you could easily duplicate a side panel using the new uh, ticket set uh, that I'll be introducing in just a minute. Now the ink that I use is black archival ink and I really like that ink because it uh, dries really quickly. And once I was happy with my image, I did use my um, paper cutter from the Tonic Tim Holtz collection to cut out my ticket. Um, but if you don't have that paper cutter, you could easily use your scissors. And then I added some more of the uh, Vintage Photo Distress Oxide to again, age that ticket up just a bit. Now, as you see, when I was adding some of that color along with the Distress Crayon, uh, I don't mind too much if it bends or um, uh, crinkles just a little bit, because again, I am trying to make it look old. All right, so once you're happy with your ticket, I went ahead and used some of the um, Distress Collage Medium to add the ticket to my background. Now, one thing that I like about using the Collage Medium with the crayons is when you um, add that crayon to the edges and then you use the Collage Medium to adhere it, it does pull some of that color out. So it adds just a little bit more interest uh, to your vintage card. And that's one of the things that I really love about that collage medium. That works really well with those Distress Crayons. All right, so the next thing that I did is I used the Ledger uh, rubber stamp from the Etc. collection, and I stamped that right onto that Ledger that I had adhered to my, adhered to my background. I really love the way that Ledger turned out. It really does look old, even though I only got that uh, Ledger book for a dollar at my thrift store. So to me, that was a great find. All right, so once I was finished stamping my background, it was time to add um, a few more pieces of interest. This 15 cent piece again is from the Etc. collection, and um, it probably is one of my favorite most used stamps in that collection. Numbers make great focal points, and they're also great for backgrounds. At the end of the video, I will have some links to my personal blog where you can find some videos where I have created cards using numbers. All right, so once I was happy with uh, that 15 cent stamp, it was time to add a couple of more tickets. Now these tickets are from the new Stampers Anonymous collection and this uh, set is called Ticket Booth. Uh, I understand that Sissix is going to be coming out with some die cuts 
to match this collection. And that way um, you can use your die cuts to actually cut out the tickets, which will give you some um, nice jagged edges. But until then, we can simply use our tonic scissors. And then if you do want some of your edges to be a little bit more jagged, uh, you could easily use one of your paper distressing tools like I'll be doing here in just a moment. Now, like I did with the larger ticket, I did add some of the vintage photo distress oxide and then I did wrinkle up the ticket just a bit just to make it look a little bit older. And once I was happy with the overall look, it was time to go ahead and adhere it to my card. Now again, to adhere the tickets to my card, I am using the Distress Collage Medium along with a brush from uh, the Mod Podge collection. I understand Tip Holtz does have his own brushes, but I just happen to have this brush in my stack and it works really well. One thing I want to recommend is when you are working uh, with this collage medium, if you don't have a cup of water right next to you, you could easily wrap your brush uh, a, into a uh, wet ba uh, baby wipe because you want to make sure that you keep the brush moist so that way it doesn't dry up and ruin your brush. But that's just a little tip. So once the card was complete, it was time to add a sentiment. If you are familiar with the Tim Holtz collection, he does have some stickers that are called Small Talk, but one of the new um, items he added to his collection uh, recently was the Snarky Small Talk. And the Small Talk Snarky stickers have great little phrases and little sentiments, and they're sure to give you a laugh. So of course, once I purchased this product, I knew I had to use it and I've used it on several of my cards. So that was my idea for this card as well. Now, I wanted to find something that would work for this little boy and the sentiment that I found, um, I thought was perfect. It reads, I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. I think this would make a really fun Mother's Day card. Uh, so hopefully your mother out there does have a sense of humor. Uh, but again, if she loves vintage and if she does have a sense of humor, I think this would make a really great Mother's Day card. So for your convenience, I do have a list of all the products that I've used along with the links to the store. If you've enjoyed the video, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to leave me a comment. I love to see comments on my videos. I'll also leave a link below of my personal YouTube channel where you can check out some of my other videos that I've created. If you've enjoyed the video, I would sure appreciate you checking out my YouTube channel and subscribing as well. Feel free to share the video as well to family and friends. If they love vintage as much as I do, I'm sure they'll get some great ideas using some of the new products just released from the Tim Holtz collection. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you again next time.